Hey everyone, hope you are doing awesome. Welcome back to my channel Pega Hut with another video. Today I am going to continue explaining about data transform part 2 as planned. I would strongly suggest you to please see my data transform introduction and part 1 video first before you start seeing this one. You can find the link in the description box. This way it would help you understanding from concept to basic action and then some advanced action in a sequential manner. In part 2, we will see a use case wherein we would use this action and manipulate the data. So let's get into it. So the next one which we are going to understand is about update page. So now for update page, what uh, use case that I have thought is, uh, you know, how you would have seen um, uh, uh, many scenario where uh, you have two uh, different section of address. One is your uh, personal address and uh, then uh, you have a billing address. Now you will find a checkbox where it will ask uh, uh, is your personal address is same as billing address and how the moment you put a checkbox in then uh, you know how it will uh, automatically f feed the data to the billing address right uh, so some of the some of the screen it feeds and some of the screen it just hide the billing address completely so let's let's uh, uh, see that use cases by using update page and i'll show you how we do it now to do that what i did is I've actually got a customer uh, uh, case. Now in the customer case, uh, uh, what I have done is I have I've, I've already got some property like first name, last name and date of birth property. Now let me go ahead and create a page property um, uh, to store the personal address and let the, uh, let me put uh, uh, create an, another page property called um, uh, billing address and then uh, do that use cases. So to first start with what all we need is uh, first we obviously need to page property uh, billing address and personal address. Now that page property will have a definition class. So here I have already got a data class which has got uh, which is called address right. So if I uh, see in the data I have already got something called address class that is in the data. So all I need to do is okay in the in the address I have got all the property that is called city uh, country and all the property. So all I need to do is I don't need to um, uh, you know take the uh, pressure of creating this property uh, sorry this class and all the property. All I need to do is go to the customer class and create the uh, base property instead. So uh, I'm going to create here. Uh, data model property. So in the property section, I'll create a right click and create and uh, what I will do uh, I will name it as a uh, personal address Right and now once I change change it to single page and here uh, What I'll do is I will create a uh, I, I will pass the definition now the definition I know I have already got the definition called xyz hyphen pz hot hyphen address uh, xyz hyphen pz uh, hot hyphen address you you can see uh, hyphen data hyphen address so I'll just refer that now I will save that for people who are new to pages and pages I will create a very small video on how we create a page property and pages property and how we create this data class and um, address and this one just a dedicated video for uh, this because sometimes it's confusing because I, I remember many of my uh, uh, student who uh, uh, who always gets confused on you know what is this page how this is linked to uh, the data class and all I will create a very short video so that you'll understand okay so at the moment let's go ahead uh, uh, with the personal address now I need to create another uh, page property called uh, um, uh, billing address so again uh, let's go with the shortcut where you do a save as because I want you to use the shortcut learn the shortcut and use it in real time which will help you a lot okay obviously because I've just created an open now change this to uh, billing address don't just try to uh, you know work hard make sure you're working smart so you will save a lot of time on this now created a uh, billing address again it's a single page because of the proper types are seen that's why I have saved it if the type is different you shouldn't be saving as you should be creating which I've already explained now here uh, I will refer to the same definition because I want to reuse the same property that I have got now I'll save it 
now billing address created personal address created now that let, let me put those into the section so to put those into the section what i'll do is uh, it is in the customer right obviously now i already have the section created right uh, uh, how i create obviously i had shown you a lot of other videos where it is already there so i'm gonna reuse that instead of showing how to create section handle which uh, uh, you guys already uh, uh, know so let me uh, go ahead and um, add those property so let me add all the property that i've got so at the moment i've got personal address i've got billing address and i've got first name uh, last name date of birth so let's um, add the text and like i do always uh, copy paste copy paste uh, so what i do uh, i'll do uh, I'll, I'll first add the first name uh, and obviously I'll add the last name last name and I will add the date of birth up here I can make it a, a ch again change it to a date of birth property date and time property date and time control sorry and now coming back to now we need to add a personal address right so to add the so now i need to add a personal address and yes i need to create a checkbox also right which will uh you know uh tell me uh which will give an option to choose that checkbox so that uh, uh, i can set this personal address to billing address so these are the two things so let me create a checkbox first so i'll create a checkbox here create and uh let's say checkbox right what i'll say personal same as building is the checkbox name here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to a true and false so i can use a checkbox for that property and save true and false right now now how you should be putting this personal address and building address in the section so what you can do there are two ways one is just get a dynamic layout, another dynamic layout or you can use the same thing doesn't really matter um, uh, depending on uh, you know the condition you need to use but at the moment I'm just uh, getting a dynamic layout so simple you get it uh, get a text property here and double click on this text property now as you know this page property personal address inside you got line 1 line 2 postcode right so all you need to do is dot personal address dot line 1 if you use this one automatically this you can you know uh, use uh, the line one of personal address but how many time you are going to do line one line two line three line four this is not exactly a perfect uh, way of doing development or i would say perfect design also so make sure you do a smart so there is a smart way that you can do so you can in fact see uh, if i had to use this way i need to create personal address line one line two postcode state country city again i need to create billing address line one line two postcode city country all these things and uh, then I need to, uh, you know, put a condition, which is take a lot of time, isn't it? So to achieve this faster, what you need to do is you need to have, so where you got this, all this property, you know, it is in the data class, data hyphen address. Now data hyphen address got all the property. You need to create a section here in the data class and add those property to start with. Now I have already done to save time. What I did is simple. I've created a section called address. In that section, I have not done any rocket science. I've just added those properties, city, country, line one, line two, postcode. You see, line one, line two, city, country, postcode, all these things. I've, uh, very simple, right? Now you have created a section in the data hyphen address class. Now what you need to do is you need to use an embedded section here to make it faster to, uh, you know, write a good code. So what you need to do is you need to bring an embedded section and put it over here inside here. And in this embedded section, you should be choosing. So there are multiple options, right? Page context and uh, you have data page, clipboard page, all these things. Now, if if you uh, uh, know or, or people who do not know, so whatever property you are going to, whatever property you are going to, uh, create inside the work class work hyphen customer work hyphen account uh, uh, in these classes those are the property which you will see in a py work page now uh, if you create a page this is nothing but a clipboard page for your uh, page property so in this scenario i am going to use a clipboard page 
and I am going to so if you see clipboard phrase it it comes where my six uh, 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 section is it is in the customer class right work hyphen customer that's why when I say clipboard page this class is automatically come you can change this class depending on the inheritance path but at the moment I wanted to use this class because my property is here now here I wanted to start with personal address so what is the clipboard property that I want to use I wanted to use the clip see if you put a dot it will only come the page which is part of your customer it won't come anything else now here I have a page called personal address and billing address I would choose a personal address so this will act as a uh, source to that uh, pro, uh, that entire uh, uh, section now uh, which section that's the section which we have created now I'll tell by name right now here by name if you see if I click what is coming it is coming for the section which is there in the work hyphen customer class now why it is coming work hyphen customer because this is the class you have chosen but now here for us what class we have got the section which has got this individual property it is in the data hyphen address class isn't it so that means you should always go ahead and use the data hyphen address class now data hyphen address if i choose and if i choose this one now if you choose data hyphen address can you use this clipboard property uh, page as personal address yes only if this personal address has got a definition as called xyz hyphen pz hyphen data hyphen address so whatever if this personal address has got a different definition obviously you cannot use it it will throw in throw you an error and or it will not even set the property now because this data class has uh, and this personal address has got a definition which referred to this data class that's why here you should be using this class and in the section now if i choose then automatically that address will come into picture now what will happen very simple is as so whatever I just shown you before you dragged a uh, text input and you told dot personal address dot uh, line one instead you are you are telling the same thing here you are telling dot personal address dot line one dot line two dot uh, country and all this thing because everything is there in the address section you are giving the source as personal address and then you are giving all the fit now the moment I click on submit you see all the values has already come into uh, in this section now if I click on here it will clearly uh, show you see source address now where if you click on this crosshair it will take you the same section that you have created inside the address see which I have shown you or if I click here also it's going to open the same thing see all right now uh, it will tell uh, okay the context value is use clipboard page and the context value is personal address I hope this is clear this is uh, one of another uh, concept like I always tell right it's not just one concept I tell although the video belongs to one concept but uh, generally I try to give more detail as and when I explain I just don't want to uh, you know avoid those details which is very crucial for fresher uh, and uh, they, they if I skip anything they wouldn't understand then obviously um, um, uh, for me, the, the uh, ultimate goal is that you guys understand as and when you do something and you learn a lot of different other concept by looking at just a single video. So that's the whole idea why I'm telling, explaining these details also in data transform uh, uh, video. Now, I hope you understood. Now, let's, let's uh, you know, go ahead and submit that. What I'm going to do is I'll probably name that as a in the in the the only reason why I put a dynamic layout because I wanted to put a header so display header and title so let's say I'll say uh, uh, personal address right I'll put a header personal address so it will come it will look like this now next thing what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, put this uh, checkbox okay so to ch put this checkbox I'll come to uh, uh, picker. And I will see if I got a checkbox. Yes, I got a checkbox, right? Now here I'll put, I, let me put in the same dynamic there. It doesn't matter. So, okay, I need to bring it down. So what you need to do is you just click this. This is a whole section, right? Just bring this up a little bit so that my section is, my checkbox is here. And this checkbox is nothing but, uh, what is the name of the checkbox we given? If I put a dot, I'll get to know. Uh, that is called personal, uh, same as billing. Now, uh, this is the checkbox which I have put. Now here, what I'm doing, I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a caption also. So, um, is personal address same as billing. I'll just correct a little formatting. 
his personal address same as billing i'll put a caption so that it will come here now is personal address same as billing so if personal address same as billing then i need to show the billing uh, so let's say that uh, so there are two use cases right one is if i check the, so i i filled in all the details if i check this in then what i need to do is i need to show the bill, uh, billing address uh, whatever you enter here if I uncheck, then obviously I need to show the billing address uh, blank so that user will uh, enter, right? So that means what I need to do is I need to do two things here. Now here, first of all, now similarly like personal address, I need to also set a uh, um, uh, section for uh, billing address. Now let me uh, do one thing. Let me uh, bring this, uh, bring another dynamic layout just so that I, I tell you what, um, I'll tell you the reason why I'm putting another dynamic layout in a while. So similar to the personal address, you also bring another, the same way how we did for personal address. Uh, bring another embedded section here because I'm going to use the same set of uh, field. So use uh, uh, paste, con use clipboard property. Here, I, what I'm going to first, let's choose the billing address. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the data hyphen address. And by name, I use this address. See how beautifully we reuse the you know data code by creating just one address section in the data layer, uh, and uh, you know uh, in two places in the work layer by giving a different uh, you know uh, source. If I would have used single single line, I need to use a personal address dot line one, personal address dot line two. Same again, I need to use for billing address dot line one. So that's how this is the best design where. Uh, to put a page or a page property or a page list property mm, uh, uh, on the on the uh, page not not a page the page list is by using the repeating dynamic layout uh, which i've uh, already told you guys so i okay now it is here right now uh, let me save it okay and uh, i need to now show you the update page so let me just quickly run so that you know where we are at and what code i need to write so here if i'm going to a save and run for the customer now you see first name, last name, middle name, everything come. Now here first name is, uh, uh, let's say three, here Mr. Here date of birth, I'm gonna choose something. Now why this has not come here in the, in the personal address, why this has not come here? This is the uh, another thing. When you create a page property, the page property has to be initial, initialized even before it comes here, okay? Now what does it mean by initialization? Now the Initialization is how you got this individual property. This individual property is already initialized. That's why you see the section. Now this page property for clipboard, uh, it doesn't know what this uh, uh, page property is all about because I told, what did I tell? I told clipboard page, right? Now if I open this uh, clipboard page here, PY work page, you see there is no clipboard page called personal address. There is no clipboard page called billing address, right? Now it's trying here. I am saying in the section that I am using a clipboard page, right? I am saying in the section that I am using a clipboard page. Context value is personal address, but in clipboard there is no page. That's why clipboard does uh, it didn't understand what exactly it is, and hence it you can you couldn't see that in the on the section. Now how would you uh, initialize? That's the question. Let me show you how would you initialize this personal address and billing address so that it will come over here. Before that, I, I just wanted to name uh, this section as billing address so that you find this difference, billing address, save, right? Now if I refresh this, automatically you'll see this billing address, right? Okay, now I'll show you how to initialize. Now to initialize, there are many ways that you can do. So uh, one is like uh, you can use this. Uh, um, uh, basically, first thing is uh, we can initialize in uh, data transform. Okay. Uh, and now what data transform you should be using. So one is uh, you can use a pre, uh, uh, there, uh, there is something called flow action. Uh, and uh, in the flow action, you got precondition. In the precondition, you can call the data transform. But because there are a lot of people who might not, uh, you know, know about precondition and post condition because I haven't shared a video. To keep it very simple, like if you remember when I started, uh, I actually have told the moment you create a case, 
uh, then there is something called py default and py uh, set field default which is automatically been added to your uh, layer right now this py default and py set field default right is generally an extension point that pega provides and this will be called when you create a case automatically by pega internally uh, except so which i don't want to elaborate here but think this data transform has been called the moment i uh, click on this uh, save and run this data transform is going to be called by pega so what i can do is i can either make use of this one or i can create a new data transform and use that in the flow action so if you see uh, the uh, any section it is connected to a flow action now if i open a flow action so customer detail now this uh, flow action has got something called so action so customer detail uh, section which is what we just worked isn't it now here in the action tab if you go there is a pre processing tab in the pre processing tab you have got something called apply data transform you have got run activity and all these things now in this apply data transform you can either create a new one and uh, you know uh, show it here and then initialize here or you can use to use py set field default to initialize now let me uh, you know just for this video if for some reason this py default and py set field default is not there people might get confused and they will stop so what i'm going to do is let me uh, uh, show you by creating a apply data transform now how you come to this flow action the best way you go to the section okay for people who are new who are very new to this pega so you go to the section click on this live ui okay now just click anywhere in the section okay now when you click anywhere in the section right what you can see there is something called section called show customer detail on the section on top of the section there is something called flow action so in this flow i just open that flow action okay just open that flow action okay if you open that flow action this is where whatever i've just shown you this is where you can do a apply data transform let me create a data transform called initialized or something initialize uh, initialize space right space so here what i am going to do is i am going to simply creating a data transform and in the action all you need to do is do a update page and here what you need to do is just update uh, like you know uh, personal address because i am doing uh, uh, update address so here you got uh, blank and with values from so i'm i'm just going to uh, uh, i'm not going to uh, show anything uh, in i mean as in i'm not going to describe anything now i'll tell you what is this so for the timing there are two way either you can just put a comment something like that here uh, just put a comment side uh, using uh, to initialize or you can just set a py level or something okay so there are there are many ways that you can do initialized this is to initialize Please. now you save it and the same thing we are going to do for uh, let's say copy and do a paste below and same you can do for billing address okay save it now this is initialized so now this will be called in the pre data transform and automatically the page will be initialized so what i need to do is now when this will be uh, called in pre data transform so basically the moment i click on save and run obviously uh, these things will be called and then the first it will go to the flow action uh, which is show customer detail and in that flow action it will come here the control will come here and see if there is any data transform see uh, okay i haven't added this data transform so now i'll add the, although i've created that but i haven't saved it uh, because i closed it so that's why it went so i'll do check out i'll save so it will come here it will see if uh, um, uh, i have got any data transform or activity to execute uh, in the pre processing before even i show the section now here yes i told them to do a initialize page so it will initialize and then it will come so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on the tracer 
just so that I can I could show you and I'm going to save and run here now in this save and run the moment I save and run now you'll see it's happening in the background so that's why it's taking a little time than normal but like I told a lot of OTP function it uses okay awesome can you see this lovely personal address and billing address now uh, came over here I'll show you why now let me pause it I think I should have got my uh, you know this one now let me pause it and see this this initialize page now when I see okay before I show first thing is I need to show you this clipboard page now if I open this clipboard page as you could see if I expand this PYOR page can you guys see that I have got my billing address and I have got my uh, personal address can you see this if you remember earlier I didn't have that one isn't it now I've got the billing address and personal address and because um, uh, because I've initialized this page is created and because I've chosen the source as an initial I mean uh, uh, clipboard page which is building address and personal address it automatically able to find that and it automatically able to show this one basically it's because it's blank it's showing as blank okay I hope it, it's clear and you know how to do it now let me show you in the tracer now the data transform that we have created is initialized right now let me initialize Okay, let me get that data transform name properly. Initialize base. Okay, I might have uh, lost that because obviously, uh, because it, it, okay, let me. Okay, I've just put uh, 5000. That's the reason why I would have lost it, but that's okay. I hope you understood. Obviously, earlier it didn't have, uh, but now it has got uh, uh, the section. So when you run, just make sure uh, you are going to increase the number at the bottom. Go to the setting and increase the number of event to trace is more so that you won't you can see that easily. Okay. So now coming back here. Now what happened is now I'll give first name. I'll give last name. I'll give some date of birth here, um, which is okay. Now line one, line two, city, state postcode country right now here if I click on this each personal address is same as building what is that what is my requirement my requirement is to set this data to do that again on which action I need to do on this action isn't it so what I need to do is I need to put the action and event here call the data transform to update this to this now let's go without doing further delay what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, create an action and event what will be my action my action will be change isn't it because if you click I mean I can obviously say click and this one or my action can be changed depending on whatever you want to do now let, let me put a change why change because it changed from true to false click yes if you uh, use click also it will work here now in this action what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh now if in refresh what I'm going to uh, do is set the address let me create a data transform set the address um, um, I, I've actually been showing uh, creating this way but because it's the easiest way to do else you can right click create here and then refer it here so I'll create set address now here I'll just open that uh, data transform set address uh, create and open I'll just put a comment here save it so that I'll go back to the section and I will do submit here without forgetting now I hope it is clear now let's try to code this one now here I wanted to explain you the update page context right so update update page action so update page action action is uh, we I have just shown you that we use that to initialize the page we can also use to manipulate now which data you want to manipulate the billing address isn't it because you wanted to change the billing address the moment I do a check-in now if you want to manipulate the billing address do a dot billing address now do a dot building address when I did now from where you want to copy so if you want to hard code then what you can do is the relationship you can leave it blank so let's say for example set I want to just hard code the building address okay before that I wanted to tell you one thing if you click if you do update page dot building address right so prior to that okay this is very crucial even before I explain this one this is another thing actually I'm explaining another concept so if I click on dot 
if I click on dot, what class you see here? XYZ hyphen PZ hut hyphen work hyphen customer. Why? Because it always take the context of this data transform class. Now, what is the context of this data transform class? This data transform belongs to XYZ hyphen PZ hut hyphen work hyphen customer. Now, if I choose a dot here, first it chosen the context of the data transform class, which is XYZ PZ hyphen customer. And it will show me all the property because I put a dot. Now let's say I click on billing address. Now this billing address property, if I open this billing address property, it belongs to, it has got a page definition of XYZ hyphen PZ hot hyphen data hyphen address. So the moment you put billing address and update address, Pega change the context now to the definition class. So if you see, uh, this is the beauty again. Uh, if you see, if I click on dot, so what is 1.1? Uh, I mean, it is a child of the parent peg, uh, one. Now, what is 1.1? If I put a dot, can you see this? Uh, this class is XYZ hyphen PZ hut hyphen data hyphen access because this billing address it took as a source and it knows this billing address belongs to this, uh, uh, has it got the definition called XYZ PZ hut data address. That's why you would only able to see those properties. Now here, if I want to hard code this line one, then here I'm just going to hard code this line one as let's say um, um, one five one um, street uh, avenue, just to show you how you hard code this. Now I have hard coded this one. Now let's say if I create another, so now you you saw this context change, right? Uh, if I click, if I see the context has changed. If I create another entry on on the same uh, layer now if one if I enter here there will be two right now if I click on dot you will see again it, it it changed back to this context it is no more in the data access because it is in the same layer so what it does basically uh, if if I create another in uh, uh, under 1.1 1 .1, then the context will still remain to address class so you see if you see the context still remains at so what it does it first goes with the context of your data transform and then it changes the context based on the definition it, so that you can you, uh, you can write those property. Once it finishes the child element and come back to uh, uh, the parent one, again it will change the context back to your data transform. That's how it changes the context so that you can use those properties. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line one and line two. Uh, uh, here, not line two. Let's say uh, I'll just put a con country as Australia, uh, or let me put India. Doesn't matter. So I saved it now. So what I'm going to do here is now uh, what I'm going to do is the moment I put each personal address same as billing. So I hope my tracer is on. Maybe I would have done uh, stopped it. Let me turn on the tracer. Okay, I'll close this. Let me turn on the tracer again. So the moment I turn on, so is personal, the moment I click on, so you see there is a data transform. The moment I click on, nothing gonna happen. So, sorry, I, I just wanted to make it a little funnier. The reason why nothing gonna happen because I've written something in the background, I haven't refreshed the section. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I am going to refresh this uh, one so that it will pick up the latest one. Um, it's up to you whether you want to refresh it or you want to just, uh, uh, you know, create another case. Okay. I'm just refreshing here. Now what I'll do is I'll again turn on the tracer. Okay. And here I, I put line one, line two, doesn't matter what I'm going to put. Uh, now, uh, the moment I click on is personal at the same as building, you see what happened. It goes behind, uh, and then it, whatever you have hard coded, it, it, uh, sets there. So I'll just show you here also, uh, set address. In the clipboard, I hope it's set address. Set the address. Sorry, yeah. Set the address here. You, I already could see that. So what it does basically, you you see here. P. I just told you about the context change. See here, it it was in py workplace. Uh, by default, it is obviously in the work class means py workplace, right? Now the moment I say update page dot building address, what did it, it do? The context of the page changes. The st this is called step page, right? In clipboard. The context of the page changes and now here py workplace dot billing address. Now if I click on this billing address, can you see the P px object class now change it to data hyphen address class. Now here uh, in the line one, 
what if you see now anywhere you see up to this point big, big, from uh, set the address where is my set the address data transform I'll just open it I, I guess I've closed it but that's okay I'll just show you uh, action refresh action okay so from one the moment it changes from one you will see this line one line two all this will be under this billing address uh, config so uh, i hope this is clear now here we, i have hard coded that's that's why it's coming now here if you see the uh, 151 uh, avenue because i have hard coded uh, here and here i have uh, hard coded the country so that's why these two property came but here i do not need to hard code or i did not need to uh, uh, manually entry anything i need to entry uh, i i need to entry enter those details from my personal address during this scenario there is a relation called with values from so that is why i wanted to go slowly one by one so you understand both of the uh, aspect of it now with when you say with values from in this scenario what did i tell just a plain english that's how the data transform has been formed it's very simple what did i um, tell that i'm going to update the billing address from personal address now that's why i have put with values from and here in the source i am saying personal address because when i give uh, the detail already my clipboard has got my personal detail for personal address now the moment i uh, have those personal detail all i need to do is set uh, 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 this line one line two country india and uh, line one line two country everything so now what i need to do so see here now here because the billing address uh, and personal address they both belongs to the same context uh, xyz uh, sorry xyz pz or data address for both billing address and personal address so now here if i put dot you will see line one and you will see data hyphen address now here if i put dot you will see here matlab uh, uh, source you will see line one and you will see the same data hyphen address now mind you this data this line one is belongs to personal address dot line one is nothing but whatever you are seeing in on the screen right here personal address line one billing address line one when when in my target i have told my uh, parent page is billing address that's why when i put dot and line one coming it is billing dot billing address dot line it's it simple the way you should read is dot billing address dot line one dot personal address dot line one do not get confused with this line one and line two it is because it is belongs to the same uh, uh, class okay i hope that is clear now here country uh, what i'm going to do is I'm, uh, let me uh, save all this thing line two uh, dot line two dot uh, city dot city okay now dot country dot country and dot postcode postcode dot postcode okay uh, i hope uh, i've covered all the field right uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 uh, something which i missed is which one country city state okay let me add Now, this sequence doesn't matter because you are anywhere uh, one is not dependent on other so you can put anywhere it depends on how we wanted to show on the screen is how it's going to come now i hope uh, it comes so basically what is going to do is now the moment you put uh, uh, this personal address and you click on it will come it will execute this data transform in the data transform it say dot billing address it will update the billing address from the value of personal address line one to billing address line one personal address line 2 to, to billing address line 2 like that is going to update i hope this is clear okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you here uh, the same thing so again uh, what we do we need to refresh it first else it won't it may or may not pick up but i i guess it should pick up but let's quickly refresh that just to be in the safer side and i'll turn on the tracer uh, in case it it don't work or something so what i'll do is i'll do get rid of this okay and then i will uh, show you this one i'll show you why it came right now see okay let me do one thing let me create a fresh one so that you would understand i don't want you guys to get confused um uh, now where is this one okay let's create another one a fresh one 
and uh, I'll put something something here. Doesn't really matter. This is uh, okay. Now this is where uh, let's say uh, one five one two line uh, or like you know forest road line to something um, forest something city uh, Sydney street NSW postcode triple two zero country Australia right now here. The moment I click on his personal address, it will call the data transform all the data you can see in this billing address, right? All the data. Now, another thing, if I uncheck, what should happen? It should give me a, uh, first thing is, uh, I need to make it a read only, okay? I, I will show that. But if I uncheck, ideally it should clear up this data, isn't it? Now, if I uncheck, it didn't clear. Why? Because although I have unchecked that, right? In the clipboard, uh, I mean, if you would have been in my, uh, you know, uh, sitting next to me, I would have asked you why and I would have waited. But obviously, I don't want to wait uh, sitting, uh, as I nobody is there on my face. So let me tell you it said. So um, uh, because I unchecked, what happened is I have got billing address. I've got personal address, isn't it? Now here, if you see, I although I have unchecked this one, I still got my uh, billing address in my clipboard. That's why you could able to see. Now, how to avoid that? If you remember, I already told you how to avoid that. You need to use remove functionality before you start manipulating that this one. This is why remove functionality is very important. Now, what you need to do is add a sibling above. Here, first, always clean up the address first. What you need to clean up? You need to clean up the bill. Uh, yes, you need to clean up the billing address. Okay. First thing, you need to clean up the address first. Just a second. I didn't I save it? So what you need to do is you need to uh, add a sibling above and here you need to first clean up the billing address before you starting started setting it. So every time whenever you check and uncheck based on that it will clean. Uh, so because every time you do a change right what we tell every time you do a change over here it will call the data transform. Now every time it calls a data transform you want this to be calculated. Uh, Firstly, because if uncheck means I want, uh, uh, I don't want this to be executed, isn't it? Now, if I remove also, do you think it will uh, clean? Let's see whether it cleans or not, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is now here, let's say I checked, okay, and I unchecked. You see nothing happened? It still has got the same thing. Why is that? Okay, can you guess? Okay, let me turn on the tracer and show you guys so you'd understand why is that. So if I turn on the tracer, if I do a check, so what happened is it does a, uh, perform a remove functionality. So if you see here, when it comes here, I have got the billing address. Okay. If I show billing address, see, you see, I've got the billing address. Okay. But when you come here, when it removed, it does remove here. Okay. Billing address. See, there is nothing. But because I do not have any when condition, it again go and update the detail. So that is why I need to put a when condition. So what I need to put a when condition? I need to put a when condition. Simple. So always, you know, it's easy to write a when condition. You just ask, you know what? If I check, means I need to set. If I do not check, means un if I uncheck, means I need to clear. This is the when condition. Very simple. Based on how you talk in English, you need to write the data transport. So I'll just simply simple way I am going to show. What I need to do is I need to create a when condition. Like I told what when condition if I check. If I check means what this uh, boolean value which is uh, this checkbox will have will be true. How do you see you just go to clipboard and then see here in the py workspace what is the value name personal same as uh, uh, billing is true right. When in other word in coding way what we what I need to tell when I would choose uh, uh, when condition when I would choose this personal as billing is equal to equal to two during that this time only I wanted to update update this page so again I'm going to teach you uh, another easy way how to bring this inside here just focus on this one you do not need to write again everything because you have already written the code do not try to delete this one. It will, it will uh, again delete the everything. It will give you a warning saying that you want to delete it will go. It, it, you need to have this one. So just hold this one and try to drag this inside 
3. See here you see a green line and just leave it. Be careful while dragging. Don't just drag here and there. Make sure you set the green and then now it came into 2.1.1 and delete now this line. So you got when condition when it is true you setting the billing address. Now here either it will be true or false. During that time what you need to put otherwise right. Otherwise, you just remove the billing address, remove the bill because it's just one. So I'm going to just write it down and I'm going to delete this one. So here what I'm saying is when personal address same as billing true, then you put a billing address. Otherwise, you remove the billing address. Now, I hope this is clear. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run that uh, uh, section for you so that you would see. Now here I'll put something, 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 right? Now the moment I put is personal address, ASD, all this has been copied. Now the moment I uncheck, you see how it is gone. Why? Because you have removed that. That means now it is removed from the clipboard. So if I go to clipboard now, if you go to PY workspace, now you see how you do not have a billing address. Can you see that? Now, in this scenario, what you need to do is it, only for this kind of scenario where you have this one, you do a quick update page to billing address. See, there are many ways that you can write uh, coding. Okay, you need to find what's the best way that I need to uh, write. Initialize the page again. Again, you are just initializing the page. Now it's all good. Now, if I go here, is personal address same as you get this if not see you get this flag i hope this this is uh, completely uh, uh, you know understandable and i hope i have explained it very nicely and you guys uh, have no doubt but like i tell if you got any doubt i'm always there for you just leave me a comment or you know uh, you know send me an email or whatever you wanted to do just don't uh, keep that bit of the doubt and you know uh, ignore the doubt any small doubt can be addressed and it's easy or it's, it's very important for you to clarify all the small doubts going forward so that you won't build up all these doubts and you know assume things right do not assume things so in today's session what i just uh, explain uh, apply data transform it's simple if you got another data transform right what you need to do is just you need to use apply data transform and if you got another data transport executes then you just call them so here, uh, okay, I think this is the best example, uh, you know, uh, another day uh, using a applied data transform instead. So here, what I'm, I'm doing is update page billing address. Now I, I don't want to write this code. Why? Because I've already got another data transform, right? Let's use this functionality. So here I have already got a data transform, which initializes my data uh, uh, update page. Now here, if you see, I have done is I've call this initialize page instead, instead of writing the same code. So what uh, Pega will do, Pega will execute in otherwise it will remove the page. It will call this data transform inside this data transform. It will try to initialize, you know, however you did. But the only thing is here you also are, you, uh, you know, initializing this update page, right? But nothing going to happen because you are not updating any of the internal field. So it doesn't matter even if you initialize just like that because it's already initialized. Now let's quickly see and I'll show you this data transform. I was trying to find uh, obviously a use case how to show apply data transform but yeah on the fly I got one. So let, let me show you quickly. So if I turn on the tracer now, let me turn on the tracer. Okay. Now if I uh, do is personal saving, it's okay. Uh, initial, I mean it clears. I mean it set the data. Now if I clean up this data, you see, let me show you this one, uh, set the address. So here, if you see what happened, so uh, personal address is billing address true. No, it's otherwise, otherwise became, uh, uh, I mean, it, it goes to otherwise because this personal address billing is not true, it's false. Now here, what, okay, I think I haven't saved this one uh, because it, it should show a applied data transform. Let me save it first, uh, save it first and then now try. So is personal, it, it uh, sets the data. Now if I uncheck, let me see now. Lovely. So here you see, uh, it's true, no, it's false. So otherwise it's good. Now it removes the billing address. After this billing address, what it does? 
apply data transform initialization phase. Now here apply data transform initialization phase. What happened if you see data transform begin? Which data transform begin? You see initialize data transform begin. That's what we have given here. Uh, set the address here in step dot two dot two, which is uh, step two dot two. We are calling the initialize phase data transform. That's what it does. And what it does simple. It will go inside. It will try to execute the steps. Whatever you got uh, those steps, it will try to execute. So step one dot one. So if you see data transform begin of initialize phase and then step one in one, what it does is update phase and one dot one is comment. So obviously you can't see comment in this because it doesn't do any uh, operation. And then you got two. Uh, I hope you already understood about that. So we covered set, remove, update phase, apply data transform, comment and this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, video uh, to cover uh, append to append and map to and this for each and exit uh, data transform section or I'll see if append to and append and map to is uh, too big then I'm going to uh, make it uh, to uh, three different videos uh, I, because I want you to understand completely as I'm not just focusing if you guys would have noticed I'm not just focusing on uh, one uh, set of things uh, just because I'm, I told you data transform I'm not just focusing on data transform and uh, I'm executing I'm also telling you a lot of other concepts other ideas that's why I uh, the videos are little going uh, beyond what I have uh, imagined uh, but that's okay it doesn't matter how long is the video as long as it uh, you know matters to you guys you know you can understand that's what matters to me um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, just uh, stay tuned for my another video. Um, we'll be trying to uh, post them. So in that's a while. the end of my part two video. I hope it is clear. Please stay tuned for the part three data transform video. Do leave me a comment if you have any queries on this. Last but not the least, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and click on the bell notification for my new video updates. Thanks everyone. See you in the next video.